like uh, we just played there. We just won the Memorial Cup last week. The thing is, it wasn't just last week when the Rebels took the top prize in junior hockey. It was 15 years ago. But the memories are still there, and seeing each other for the first time in years helps these players recapture the bond they once had. I must have gave seven, eight guys hugs I haven't seen since we played. It's been, it's just a huge trip to see guys that you, you battle with and partied with and played video games with back in 15 years, man. We don't handshake, we, we hug it out and uh, we know the battles we went through and the, the times and the memories and they'll last forever. Everybody looks the same, everybody's a little more gray, eyes are a little tired, got kids, but you know, we haven't stopped laughing for the last four hours about the dumb stuff we did. When you spend days and weeks and months together, the bond only gets stronger with these players. We've seen it happen in many other leagues with many other teams. Adding a championship like the 83rd edition of the Memorial Cup, well, the connection is indescribable, except for those who have won. To go through the battles and to win a tournament like the Memorial Cup um, to the end is just, it's something you just, you you don't know what it's like until you experience it. You're a winner. Every, everybody loves a winner, right? <laughs> People do tend to gravitate towards a winner, and the players today are looking to the players of the past for guidance in their quest for a title. Even if they come up short in their journey, they will still have a connection to each other for years to come. These kids here today starting are going to go through a, a battle that it's going to last for a lifetime and memories are going to last forever. For Go and watching a band of brothers stick together, I'm Doug Roxburgh.